just all in my head Floating rivers upstream The things that you said Tell me I'm being honest Tell me did you know That you would be leaving me Just like the winter snow Tell me I'm being honest Tell me should I've known Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new. Today's video, I have a ton of cleaning motivation for you. I am starting out in my master bedroom, as you can tell, and then I will be moving on to my master bathroom and then I will be heading into my son's room to get some cleaning done in there, just a little bit of tidying. And then I will be heading into my kitchen and the living room area as well. Those areas tend to get really messy because that's where we spend the most time. So let's jump right into this video. So tell me I also filmed this video over the course of two days. It is usually unlike me to clean my entire house in one day and even then I did not get to every space in my house. I only ended up cleaning four areas in my home and my daughter's bedroom, I don't typically touch her room that often. I will go in there sometimes and tidy up and just help her clean it up a little bit but she is old enough to where she can actually clean up her room and keep it neat and tidied and on this particular day I did not have to help her because she had already vacuumed in there. She had her bed made and everything so I had no reason to go in there at all um, and their bathroom was not in bad condition either. So I'm just going to continue tidying up in here and then we're going to do a quick vacuum and then head into my master bathroom. So this sock bin is a bin for missing socks and what I do is if I find a missing sock or whatever or I find like there's a side missing I just throw it in there and then whenever I do laundry I go in there just to see if I can find the other pair to that sock and it actually has been working out pretty well for me. I had a bag before and it was just a complete mess but um yeah so that's what I do. I just take all the socks um, that are missing its side and I throw it in there and then when laundry time comes around I then go ahead and search in there if there is a missing side. Let me feel your love again Cause I've been running round in circles Screaming out your name Take me to a different place Just the two of us and we can stay up all night Kissing under street lights Doing what we want to Doing what we need to do Staying up all night Everything is alright Oh, I wanna be with you
Okay, so now we're moving on to my master bathroom and I am just cleaning off the surface really quick of my vanity. I'm going to put everything in its respectable places and then I am going to go ahead and just sanitize this area really good. I'm going to clean the toilet, my least favorite thing to do, as you guys know. And then I'm just going to throw out the trash really quick as well. And I had this balloon in here. My kids, they've been like obsessed with blowing balloons lately. And these balloons have been wandering a, a like along the house for maybe the past week and a half to two weeks so um ignore the balloons if you see them but i'm just going to sanitize the vanity really quick and the toilet i did spray some method um anti-back cleaner in the vanity sink i'm gonna let that sit and then i'm just gonna go ahead and clean the toilet get that nice and sanitized and i'm gonna go back to the vanity For the toilet, I like to take a piece of toilet paper and just like clean off the surface really quick before I go ahead and sanitize and that's because the toilet for some reason gets really dusty and when I go to clean it with like a Lysol wipe or whatever, I am typically wiping around a whole bunch of dust and it's so annoying. So I'm trying to get into the habit of just like wiping off the toilet surface before I go ahead and sanitize with a Lysol or Clorox wipes. So my master bathroom did not look like this, you guys. I actually redid my entire master bathroom myself. I believe it was last year, um, back in March. I redid the entire bathroom myself. Obviously, my husband helped with certain things, um, but I love DIYing. And if you want to check that video out, I believe I do have that saved on my Instagram page um, in a highlight bubble. So you can go ahead and check that out there. But it has held up pretty okay, I have to say. Um, only thing I did not do the right way was paint the vanity itself i used the wrong paint to do that um but honestly it's not even that bad and then i noticed that the sink itself i use an appliance and epoxy spray to um spray paint the vanity sink and that has held up pretty well the only thing is you have to be very careful because it does stain pretty easily and the other day i put something on top of the vanity surface and it actually stained really bad and i had to um, I think I used peroxide to um, get the stain off. I'm not 100% sure, but yeah. So you just have to be very careful. But if you want to look at that video, it is saved in my highlights on my Instagram page. And I will go ahead and link my Instagram page for you guys as well. I don't need nobody else but me. now that the vanity is all clean the mirror is all wiped and the toilet is clean i am just going to do a quick vacuum in here and then we are going to um, mop in here as well with my swiffer wet jet
Okay, so now we are moving on into my son's room and I am just going to put away some of those clothes that were sitting in my room on my ottoman. I just moved it to his room because I knew I was coming in here. I'm going to get those hung and then I am going to make his bed. Um, I did wash his top sheet, the flat sheet. I did not wash the one on the bottom because honestly, like I said before, he does not really sleep in his bed. We do put him in his bed at nighttime um, when it comes time for him to go to bed, but he always wakes up and then he comes to our bed. And I think he only sleeps in his bed for like maybe two, three hours tops. Um, so that is the situation at the moment with him. He's six years old, but um, I'm just going to get his room nice and tidied and hopefully it'll make him want to be in his room often. And honestly, he likes his room. He's just... Um, I guess so used to being with mom and dad and I am all for it because I know that he's getting older and there's going to be a time when he's not going to want to do that anymore so it is okay although sometimes at nighttime it is very hard to sleep with him because he sleeps really bad um, and as I'm doing this voiceover I remembered last night was horrible he actually kicked me really bad so it is what it is he's going he's going to get older and he's not going to want to spend time with mom and dad or he's not going to want to sleep with us um anymore which is totally fine but i'm just gonna get his room picked up now And as you guys can see, my biggest struggle is making his bunk bed. I don't know what I got myself into. He wanted a bunk bed really bad. And I said, you know what? Fine, we'll get you one. And here we are. I <laughs> despise him having a bunk bed because it is the worst thing to make. I have a hard time making the bottom bunk. I have a hard time making the top bunk. Um, it's just not something I would recommend if you... I mean, it's it's totally up to you, but if I can go back, I would not get him a bunk bed. I would actually get him just a full-size bed. Um, but yeah, it's it's just a struggle every time I'm making his bed. Okay. 
And let's fold these and put them away. So Aiden wanted to come in and help me. Um, as you can tell, I left those real time footage in there. Um, I did not want to speed them up and I just left them. He was just having a conversation with me about his toys um, and I was just letting him do whatever he wanted. He wanted to help clean up. So he put some of his socks together, which I thought was so cute. Um, and I just let them because it's just part of the process and he's usually pretty good at helping. Um, so I just thought it was really cute to leave that footage in there. Keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down All right, so we're moving on to his top bunk. I am just going to get this made as best as I can, and we are going to call it a day because that is all I can offer when it comes to making his top bunk. And now we are just going to wipe off his dresser really quick and then we are going to go ahead and vacuum as well. I do have to paint his bedroom. Um, I don't know if you noticed before, but I think in another upcoming clip, like right there, you'll see that there's two different paints on the, seat, on the wall. And that is because we were testing out paint samples for his room. I do have to paint his room. I have to finish my daughter's room first before I can get in his room though because I don't want to overwhelm myself um, with too many projects at once. So I am still finishing up in her room like I said. So once I'm done in there, I will be moving on to his room and we are going to get his room nicely painted. I'm going to paint his dresser and then I'm going to get him a beautiful rug. Um, and then I also have to buy him like some sheets and things like that, but that, that'll come after. I have to get some curtains as well for his room. Um, and that should be it. As I was vacuuming underneath his bed, as you can tell, I found his Hulk gloves and a random lotion bottle. Um, I just thought it was so funny, but now we are done in his room and here's an overview. So it's the next day and I am just going to pick up in here really quick. It was not in bad condition, which I am so happy because my kitchen gets really messy um, if I let it. So I'm just going to pick up everything that we had laying out from breakfast, put everything in its place, um, get the dishes going. I am going to hand wash some dishes. I usually like to hand wash my pots and then I will run the dishwasher later on at night. This that I'm taking out of this wrapper, this is a box spring cover that I purchased for our king um, bed in our massive bedroom. Um, and then these pillow covers I actually purchased for some throw pillows I have down in my basement. I will link these for you guys. I was 
um, looking for some throw pillow covers and I was having a hard time choosing some and I really wanted like a different look um, for down there so I will share them with you guys as well Now I am just hand washing these dishes and you guys, I have to get some new wooden spoons. My wooden spoons are in bad condition. I have had these for such a long time and I think I got them from Home Goods um, when we first moved in and it's been about four years. I think I need to either visit Hobby Lobby or um, maybe go back to Home Goods. And I actually purchased some wooden spoons from Ikea one time and they were actually in pretty good, good, good condition and they were really nice and they're pretty sturdy and I still have them. Um, so maybe I'll just go back to Ikea for those as well. I do have to make a trip there for some picture frames that I need for my hallway. Um, but yeah, let me know in the comments below if you guys have any suggestions on where I should go for some wooden spoons because I desperately need them. Okay, so now I am just going to wipe down my counters, wipe off my stove really quick. I'm not doing a deep clean on here because it was not too bad. I do, however, have to clean my oven. It is in terrible condition. Um, maybe I can get to that in the next video. I don't think I like cleaning my oven, you guys. Just like I don't like cleaning toilets. Um, I think the oven is another one of those things that I really don't like cleaning. It's just so weird. I feel like as you get older and as you do things repetitive, repetitively, is that even a word? repetitively yes it is um you tend to like find out the things that you like and the things that you don't and i'm now realizing that i don't like to clean my oven because if i did i would clean it a lot more often and i don't so on this day we were getting ready to head out um i got up i worked out and then i started cleaning up and whatnot and then you saw my son was dressed when he came to have me help put toothpaste on his toothbrush. We were taking them to Central Park on this day. Um, I figured that it'll, it'll be something nice for them to experience since my son has, he's, he was two years old when he came to Connecticut, I believe, or maybe just turning two. Um, and my daughter was just going into second grade. So 
um i just wanted to have them you know experience new york city in the summer and how beautiful it can be especially central park he was just showing me his teeth and how good of a job he did brushing it <laughs> but we were heading to central park on this day and we had such a great time we actually had lunch um when we got there and then we uh, walked around Central Park, took lots of photos, and then we also um, met up with some friends that were visiting from LA, and um, we had dinner with them as well, and we were exhausted when we came back, but it was so worth it because we all had fun. And if you notice that I jumped a little while ago, <laughs> I hate anything bug related. I don't like bugs, um, but that was a ladybug, and I thought it, I was kind of like, why is this on my counter which is so odd but my kids were like oh look it's a ladybug and i was like can you guys just like take it outside um so that i just put it on like a paper towel for them to take it outside and release it because i did not want you know to kill it obviously um but yeah i just thought that it was really cute So I know I've talked about my kitchen before and my kitchen cabinets and how I've wanted to paint them. Um, so I actually got two quotes from two different companies to have them painted. One was outrageously expensive and the other one was actually pretty reasonably priced. Um, so the first quote I got was for $11,000, you guys, to repaint my kitchen cabinets. I was like, what in the holy hell? Like, this cannot be how much it costs to just repaint some kitchen cabinets so i assumed automatically that since i got such a high quote that the second quote would come in around the same price and shockingly it was like uh like it was way cheaper it was around i think like five thousand dollars or so just to get them painted so i was like that was a huge difference um and obviously i think i i do want to paint my kitchen cabinets i'm just trying to figure out exactly when i want to get this done because i do want to also change out my backsplash and possibly epoxy my countertop because i don't like the dark um in my kitchen overall it's just like it's just too much brown going on it's like dark cabinets or brown cabinets with the dark floors and um just like everything it just makes it look really dark so i do want to do a ton of different things in there but i just don't know exactly where to start yet so i just wanted to get those quotes done but now i'm in my living room area and i'm just watering my plant right now um i did go ahead and wipe down the coffee table as you saw and now i am just going to go ahead and start vacuuming in here as well
losing touch of who I am when you're far away. And I feel like I'm running in circles around you.、Mm. And I know I've been acting strange for a while, but I want you close. Now that the kitchen is all vacuumed as well, we are going to end today's video here. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel as it does help me out a ton. I really appreciate you guys being here, supporting my channel, supporting me on this journey. I wouldn't be here if it weren't for you guys.、Um, so stick around for the next videos to come. I have a ton of motivation coming up. Um, and I also cannot wait for fall. It is my favorite thing to decorate for. So I am so excited for that as well. So, anyway, I hope you guys enjoy your week, your day, your weekend.、Um, and I will talk to you guys very soon. Bye, guys.